Welcome to Dynamic Health and Fitness. My name is Nick. The purpose of this video is to teach you about our running assessment and our running lab. Over Dynamic Health and Fitness' 17 year history helping individuals in CNY achieve their health and wellness goals, we have worked with a lot of runners. We work with runners who want to improve their performance, their speed, efficiency, and also reduce the risk of injury or get out of pain. We've helped runners with plantar fasciitis, knee pain, IT band syndrome, and low back pain. We help these individuals get out of pain long term so they can get back to the sport that they love. Our running program and assessment is individualized to your needs and combines our expertise as coaches with state-of-the-art technology to get to your goals faster. When you sign up for our running program, it comes with an assessment, follow-up sessions, an at-home program that's specific to your needs based on the assessment's findings and can be accessed through our app and a membership to our running lab, which you can book on our app to go ahead and work out with the program that we designed for you. There are five steps to our running assessment. Step one involves us sitting down together, going over what you're looking to get accomplished, your medical history, and what you've experienced in previous runs and what you'd like to experience in future runs. Step two, we begin to start to warm up on the treadmill. We start with a slower speed and then begin to increase the speed slightly. You'll be wearing a JICO sensor. This sensor tells us lots of biofeedback information, including how symmetrical we are from left to right side while we're running. What you don't see in the video as well is we can film the run to determine stride rate, stride length, and capture on film any inconsistencies or imbalances of your running stride. Step three involves a gait analysis, where we'll take off your shoes and socks and study how well your foot is landing and striking the ground and propelling off the ground when it's your back foot in gait. Part four of our running assessment involves a joint by joint running specific mobility and stability analysis. This is where we get to take a look at each part of your body and get to see which area maybe needs a little bit more mobility, which area maybe needs a little bit more strength, and maybe which ones are causing uh, you pain in the running stride or maybe any inefficiencies or inconsistencies. For part of the mobility and stability analysis, you'll be wearing the JICO sensor, which will help us quantify any imbalances that may exist. So as us as coaches get to see those imbalances throughout your body and you may feel them, the JICO sensor will be able to quantify them and you'll get to see that data in real time on our TV screen. Part five of our running assessment involves us getting on the table, taking our shoes and socks off and taking a look at your callus formation. It also allows us as coaches to get a little bit more hands on. We'll be taking you through something called functional manual reaction, where our hands will take your feet through joint specific running motions and get to see how they perform. Our running assessment concludes with a summary, making sure you fully understand everything that we just went through. And then we go home and get to begin building out your program that is specific again to your goals, your needs, and your assessment findings. In the next session, we get to work. We look forward to seeing you.